Welcome to Meep's Math Matters. I'm Meep, and today I'm going to be proving the Pythagorean Theorem. Now, the Pythagorean Theorem, we start with a right triangle. What does that mean? I have a triangle, and in one angle of this triangle, where this red is, that's a 90 degree angle. Two of the sides are perpendicular to each other. Okay. The sides that are adjacent to this angle, okay, these are called the legs of a right triangle, and the side opposite that angle is called the hypotenuse. The Pythagorean theorem, theorem has to do with the lengths of these sides and how they relate to each other. Generally, we call the sides that are the legs, A and B, the lengths are A and B, and the hypotenuse is length C. Then the Pythagorean theorem states A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is just for right triangles. There's also a proof that if you have A squared plus B squared equals C squared for a triangle, then it is a right triangle. I'm not going to show that here right now. The Pythagorean Theorem, though it's named after Pythagoras, who lived around 500 BC, it was well known before then, and we don't even know if Pythagoras had what we would consider a proof for this theorem. The first real proof that we've seen written down was from Euclid's Elements in 300 BC. But anyway, this was known to the Egyptians, to the Babylonians, a thousand years before, and the Chinese also knew it independently. So this is well known. This has been re-derived several times, and it's a very, very important geometrical relation. So I have drawn this figure, and we need to figure out what the parts are, what this is. I have drawn a, a square, okay? I'm going to write in the letters here. The sides are A plus B, okay, where I am writing. Okay, this little segment here is length A, and this segment here is B. So the area of the entire square, area, is A plus B, like that, and that's squared. I want to note for a moment, I'm going to erase this right after I write it, this is not equal to a squared plus b squared. I'm not going to explain why right now. All you have to do is test it, put in some numbers. Put in, say, 1 and 1 for a and b. 1 plus 1, that's 2 squared, that's 4. But if you add 1 squared plus 1 squared, you get 2. So this does not work. Um, this is an error I saw a lot when I taught math. I'm going to erase that. I don't like wrong things sitting on there. Okay, so I've got this figure. The whole area is A plus B squared, and this is a square. So these triangles, okay, so let me color in these triangles. Okay, here's one, two, three, four. Okay, these triangles, these are the right triangles we're interested. They're all the same triangle. They're congruent, okay, which means they all have the same side lengths. And that is the C we've been talking about. Okay, so what is this figure in the center? Every side is side length C. Oh, okay, so f it's a quadrilateral. It's a figure with four sides that each side is the same length. That's pretty cool. Maybe it's a square, but maybe it's not. What would prove it's a square? To prove that it's a square, I have to prove these angles are right angles, and actually that's really easy to do. And the reason why is the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so let's look at one of these right triangles. Here we go. This is a right angle, and if this angle here, and usually they use um, capital letters to indicate angle measures, so if that's like capital A, so A plus 90 degrees plus whatever is in the top corner has to equal 
180, and you find out that's 90 minus A. Because you add 90 minus A plus A, you get 90, plus the 90 of the right triangle, so you get 180. Well, what is this on this adjacent triangle? It has the same angles. This is A, and this is 90 minus A up here. Okay. Second thing you need to know is that a straight line is 180 degrees. So this 90 minus A plus whatever this angle is that I'm doing in red and this A, let me turn that, sorry. Okay, so the 90 minus A plus that red angle plus A have to equal 180 degrees. Well, I have 90 minus A plus A, that gets me 90 degrees and that gives me 90 degrees left. So each of these corner angles that's a right angle and it's a square. Okay, so that means I can set up an equation. The overall area I know is a plus b squared and this equals four, I'm actually not going to do the algebra. You can do the algebra, but it's going to be four of these triangles. Okay, a on one side, b here and c here plus that square with side C. Okay, so that's my square and four of those rectangles. What I'm going to do is rearrange this square, this A plus B squared, this square with side A plus B, and I'm going to do a different arrangement, and we will find two smaller squares, one with side A and one with side B, that will also give us our um, square again. Now I've taken that same square, that square with side a plus b, and its area is a plus b squared, and I have divided it differently. Okay, I've rearranged how I've divided it, so now that I have, I'm going to color these in, in the upper left hand corner I have a square with side a, in the lower right hand corner I have a square of side b, Okay, so I have an a squared plus b squared plus this extra. And it's these rectangles with sides a and b. Well, I want to get it in terms of what I saw in my previous square. So I am going to divide it up into two right triangles. And you can see the side here is a and this is b and this is c. Okay, and I can do the same thing here. This side is A, this side is B, and this is C. So look here, I've got four, okay, four of those triangles. Well, remember from the previous page, I had four of those triangles plus the area of the square, that's C squared. And if you know anything from equations, you can remove the same terms. You remove those four triangles from both sides. That means a squared plus b squared equals c squared, QED. Again, this is my favorite proof of the Pythagorean theorem. There are many of them. There is a site cutthenot.org, and those are hyphens between the words, that has a page of 75 proofs of this theorem. So this is something you need to keep in mind in math. There may be one answer, one right answer, but there can be dozens of ways to get to that answer. And sometimes, even though something has been proven before, you want to prove it again in a way entirely new. It, math is very creative. As always, you can contact me, marypat.campbell at gmail.com, and remember to spread the math love.